Hey everyone, I'm Fozzy Orcam, and welcome to the only movie show. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Just kidding, we're not talking about Marvel today. Uh, we're we're, we're going to talk about Oppenheimer. Oh, oh, yeah, and and Barbie. Okay, so the Barbenheimer phenomenon was... It, it was magical, especially as I'm a huge fan of movies. And I thought it was really cool that a lot of other people in the world, who maybe aren't as big of fans of movies as I am... Uh, we're embracing them, and we're we're going to the theater, going to see movies, which I thought was awesome. And more importantly, all these people are going to see like three hour and two and a half hour movies because Barbie's pretty long. Well, we all know Oppenheimer is three hours long, uh, so I'm I'm really happy with this whole Barbenheimer uh, phenomenon. But right off the bat, I just want to talk about uh, Oppenheimer because I just want to talk about it first, and I'll save Barbie for last. Uh, no reason for that, actually. I don't even know why I bothered explaining it, actually. Okay, so I really liked Oppenheimer. Like, I really liked it. I thought the performances were insanely good. I mean, Killian Murphy will probably win an Oscar for this. Um, Emily Blunt, I thought, was fantastic as well. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, was also fantastic, and I guess he's just here to show us that... Uh, He's not just Iron Man, he's a really good actor, um, which I thought was really cool to see him in a different role. I actually I actually have not watched a whole lot of Robert Downey Jr. movies outside of uh, his Iron Man ones, um, so it's pretty cool to see him in something else. Uh, I thought I thought I thought Han Solo was great too. Not Harrison Ford, the 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 one from the Solo movie, I thought he was uh, also really good. So yeah, the performances were all fantastic, and the direction by Christopher Nolan was beautiful. I mean, he 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 has he has solidified himself as one of, if not the best director right now. I mean, I still prefer Wes Anderson's movies over his. I still prefer Tarantino's movies over his. But what what he's doing in cinema right now, you have to respect. And I'm also not saying I don't like some of his movies. So they just don't stand out to me as much as some other directors do. But I love Inception. Uh, I love The Prestige. I love all the Dark Knight movies. And I loved uh, Oppenheimer. Now I wanted to talk about the whole explosion thing that people are talking about. Um, he doesn't use any CGI, he says. Um, that's cool. I feel like that's... Impossible. I also thought the so the the sound design was really good, for the most part. There's a common issue with Christopher Nolan films, that his mixing and his sound quality is always off. Like in Tenet, I haven't watched it. I've seen clips on YouTube and I've heard other people talk about it. Um, you can't hear some of the dialogue in that movie. And actually, kind of with The Dark Knight, now that I'm thinking about it, you can't hear all the dialogue. I don't... Is it intentional? I don't know. But that's kind of the case here, and it's not as prominent as it has been in other movies uh, of Christopher Nolan's. But it's definitely there. But there also are really good aspects of the sound design, like like the, like the sound the nuclear explosion makes. Um, that sounds really good. And, uh... Yeah, overall, this movie blew me away. I, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars on Letterboxd. I thought it was fantastic. I'm going to be talking about it more on the podcast today. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed Oppenheimer. Uh, right now, I'm gonna, out, of, out of 10, I think, I think it's going to be a 9 out of 10 for me. Alright, now it's time to talk about what everyone's been waiting for. Barbie. Yes, I loved Barbie. Barbie, I think I gave a 4 to 5 on Letterboxd. And, uh... Right off the bat, I just want to talk about the cast. The cast was stacked. I heard people complaining about Will Ferrell in the movie. I thought he was hilarious. I don't know how you could say Will Ferrell. I, I've actually never seen Will Ferrell be bad in a movie ever. So, yeah, the, the, I could never, ever complain about his role in the movie. He was hilarious. Uh, aside from Will Ferrell, I don't even know why I started talking about him first. Uh, Margot Robbie is fantastic. She... She just adds a whole new depth to the character that I didn't I didn't even think was possible uh, to add to a to Barbie. I mean Barbie is a, a doll, and then uh, Ryan Gosling as Ken was hilarious. I mean, 
I I had I'm just Ken stuck in my head for about a week now, and I don't think it's going to get unstuck from my head for a long time. That song is phenomenal, and I really hope he performs it at the Oscars. That would be hilarious. Uh, but aside from just Ken, I thought his performance was fantastic, aside from that uh, song. His performance was fantastic. I mean, he was hilarious. I mean, you can tell he's not the brightest bulb, but he's so passionate. He's he's so he put so much heart into everything he does. He he's trying. He's really trying. He he is Knuff. I mean, he is Knuff. Yeah, Ryan Gosling's performance is fantastic. I also thought uh, Alan was such a good character. Uh, Michael Sarah really performed him. Uh, played him well. Um, unexpected favorite character, I have to say. Uh, I real I really liked him in this movie. He's not a main character, but every scene he's in, he's hilarious. I also thought Weird Barbie was really good. I don't love Kate McKinnon usually, except for uh, the 2016 Ghostbusters movie I really liked her in. But for the most part, I don't love her other work. But she was really funny in this, and I think Weird Barbie was the perfect role for her, actually. I also thought Greta Gerwig's direction was fantastic. I mean... I haven't watched her other films, uh, but I'm starting to consider uh, watching Lady Bird. I've seen uh, a lot of people praising it, so yeah, I'll probably check that out at some point as such good reviews. I also thought the set design was immaculate. I mean, what 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 can I say that hasn't already been said by everyone else in the world about the set design? It's, it's beautiful. I also thought the soundtrack was really good. Uh, they, they had the right idea when they just picked a bunch of pop stars to do the soundtrack for this. I thought that was the right move on their part. Yeah, overall, Barbie was a phenomenal movie. Once again, we're going to talk in-depth more on it on the podcast today. So yeah, Barbie out of 10, I think it's going to get a 8 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I really enjoyed Barbie. I really liked all the performances. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Only Movie Show. I'm Ken Freights, and uh, yeah, goodbye. I was sitting in a closet for that entire voiceover while laying down that. That's dedication right there.